Hey everyone, this is my Patreon Proud Reaction to the 17th episode of Kill la Kill. And last episode, Ryuko went to the Nudist Beach headquarters where she learned a lot about the organization and her father's uh, part of it, you know, kind of founding it after discovering the evils of the Kiryuin factory clothing evil world takeover alien life fiber you know that kind of stuff we learned a lot about that kind of stuff this episode and it was after the, the father learned about some of that stuff that he decided to fight against it uh ryuko she's not in a good spot right now because she she doesn't like the idea that senketsu is clothing made for the sole purpose to be a weapon to fight against his clothing comrades and kind of refuses to fight now after taking senketsu off and now the man with the the, the gun is just threatening the, the, the violence it's just it's pretty bad and then on the then, then on the other front we had satsuki who got purified by her mother in a very pretty memorable scene so yeah i'm not sure where we go from here so let's just jump into it and find out three two one play okay Sasuke looking as cool as always. Yeah, I'd suppose so. Yeah. Every time I see Sasuke, the bad scene just replays in my head. We can't hear you, you're all the way up there. At least use a megaphone. Ragio Stadium. That is a grand stadium, yeah. Oh yeah, they mentioned that last time, the Great Culture and Sports Festival, like both of them. Even though they're supposed to be two separate events. I'm not sure the culture of that academy is a good thing to celebrate. And we did get our new up new opening last episode, so we still got it. <clears throat> well, it's kind of funny that an organization called Nudist Speech that's trying to fight against clothing uses is relying on Ryoko and her clothing to fight. Such a good opening, though. Seriously. And the first opening was good, so the fact that they could still have another opening that's really good is very impressive. But it just might be better than the first. I mean, we've, we should have carved out the title logo out of stone and blood to paint it. Like, it doesn't get much cooler than that. It's pretty metal. Of course, that's nice as well. And they both look at the camera with blood splattered on their faces, with their faces near each other. Just a fantastic opening. This is right where we left off. Yeah, I don't think you could do much like this. <laughs> you could probably beat me. <laughs> we should try that. <laughs> Mako. Of course, Mako's got to stop it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mako knows. Probably not. <laughs> uh, don't tell Mako she's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Very true. Mako is always right. I 
I still want to be warned by you, Miyuko. <laughs> That's the reason why. <laughs> well, the mood definitely took a bit of a turn there. <laughs> uh, a beautiful friendship right there. And um, yeah, a lot of destruction. It was Osaka. It was a lot to take in. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. It's because in this anime, we just we go up and we never stop. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? Just target practice. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, okay. Can't say no to that. That's why it's meant for you. <laughs> uh, you gotta wear it. Possibly from you. <sighs> I was actually thinking that just now. You drink a lot of tea in this show. Like anytime you're not fighting or giving a speech, you're probably drinking tea. Little Satsuki. I have to read white text over your white suit. Time sure flies when you're subjugating people. <laughs> uh, did I forget to mention that? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's hard to believe. You're such a bully now. Okay. And I expect violence. Clothing, of course, we distribute clothing. <laughs> no nudists allowed, okay. Oh, how did you get up here? What, what do you even want? I know who you are. <laughs> The doggy. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, right, okay. I guess I don't know where she is. 
I guess you never called home. They, they are rebels. Nobody told them that. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe we shouldn't have went here. Oh. Oh cool. How kind of you. A lot of text on screen. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's great. <laughs> the important questions. <laughs> well, you, you got him sold. I may have accidentally read stigma as a different word there. Uh, Mako, could you at least be awake for important things? <laughs> yeah, she's fairly important to the story. That's that's a problem. <laughs> well, where do you think Satsuki got it? <laughs> wow, a little bit harsh. Mako, wake up. Uh, what better place, I suppose? Well, that's not good. <sighs> no wonder Gamagori would forgive them for if they participate, because that's 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 it for them if they do. Yeah, Maki, your parents are in danger. You might want to wake up and. That's right, Ryuka. That's why I need to fight. Can't give up. Uh, have you met Ryuko? Of course she will. You got the music playing and everything. I believe you. I think we're done losing our way. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Now this music. She definitely thinks she's in control right now, and I don't blame her. But we're rebels, we still exist, and we're gonna win. <laughs> As expected of Satsuki. Nobody asked you, Nui. All by herself. <laughs> uh, Ryuko's a special one.
I'm not sure that's true. And this is literally literally the only thing she wears, so. <laughs> Grab my sword. Okay, very useful then. <laughs> High quality animations there. Yeah, can't exactly take on an army. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me, Ryuko. <laughs> uh, not like you can fight, or <laughs> uh, Mako. How could we ever abandon you? I know I couldn't. <laughs> what would the show be without Mako? I can't even imagine it. You could probably would have died a while ago. Wish Mako could hug me like that. Oof. I'm sure whatever she said was very important. The color scheme of that thing almost reminds me of the one yeah, Ava from Evangelion. Okay. It's probably, I'm a little bit worried about how this would go. It might be a bit, bit preemptive to toast the success of something that hasn't finished yet. Did you all enjoy your bitter tea? Yeah, of course, they just break those. Very wasteful. Very disrespectful to the person that made it. So bright. I swear it gets brighter every time. Oh, they they was there is catering, okay. We still have a few minutes left. We'll see what we get. Uh I'm sure most of the people do not know how horrible this event's gonna be for them. <laughs> Yeah, the important thing is the food, let's be honest. It's the best part of the event, really. Wow. It's very clever. Jesus Christ, the, the brightness. Uh, even got the rainbows. This is how you make an entrance right here. By blinding everyone. <laughs> oh, I love this music so much. <laughs> uh, I would love to enter a place like this. At least once. <laughs> uh. I know she's a the enemy, but I got to appreciate a good entrance. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> uh. There's Nui. 
looking the same as usual. She did not dress up. I... I kind of disagree with your opinions here. <laughs> yeah, they're totally listening. Oh no, she pushed the button. Yeah, this is... This is the not-so-great surprise. Lucky for him, he dressed properly. It started all right, so we need to get going. <laughs> DTR, you not you even listen, Ryuko. <laughs> what about you? You want to go climb the Mecca? <laughs> yeah, you, you can't really fight Mako. Did hope she didn't get hurt by the debris over there. And now we've arrived slightly later than we should have, but <laughs> uh Yeah, that's it's almost like a spider having wrapped wrapped them up for eating. Where the music, the BGM died down was just really unnerving, <laughs> but it's back, so. Because these two haven't met, I don't think, so. what they do. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, was that Satsuki? Wow, okay. <laughs> that was a betrayal. Oh. I guess she really <laughs> wasn't a big fan of that purification. Jeez. Like, <laughs> like no holding back. Wow. I think we got her. Uh, I guess that explains a blood splash on her face in the opening. <laughs> Damn. Not quite what I expected there. Uh. <laughs> I think maybe she's doing something. <laughs> yeah, you, you just got fully betrayed here. <laughs> I actually got quite a few chills there. Well, that... That was a development. Oof. Like, she wasn't even gentle about it. She just, like, slammed it in there and swung her around. Like, that was just savage. Like, there seemed to be some real hatred in that attack. Some anger. So yeah, Satsuki, I guess she's not as much on her side as uh, she, she people were led to believe. <laughs> uh. 
Because <laughs> they did kind of really stress in this episode how similar Satsuki and her mother supposedly were, so... I guess they were doing that f to uh, maximize the effect of this twist. We mean the fabric of karma. Sasuke jump into the crowd. Okay, well, that was the 17th episode of Kill La Kill. And in this episode, you know, Ryuko again resolved some things and is willing to fight. So that's good. You know, Senketsu, obviously she's thinking of Senketsu, but Senketsu wants to be with Ryuko. You know, he wants to help, so can't just toss him aside and quit this whole noble goal to save the world. Like, we gotta keep up with it. You know, Mako helped a lot as well. I did quite like the, the little hangout scene that Mako and, and that Mako and Ryuko had after, like, right after she calm down, you know? Like when Mako was holding the Senketsu, you know? I quite enjoyed that. Just, seriously, where would the show be without Mako's friendship helping Ryuko every step of the way? Just, yeah, very, very invaluable stuff there. We even got a bit more backstory on uh, our staple gun person whose name I will never remember. So... We, we did get to check up on Mako's parents, who apparently had no idea where Ryuko and Mako even were. So I guess they never called them to let them know. I'm not sure why. Maybe they just didn't have access to a phone. Maybe they were worried it would be traced or something. You know. But uh, they did not know what, what became of Mako. So they just kind of got roped into the great culture festival and sports festival as a way of atoning. And like, like I said, it makes sense because that they will die there. So I guess you could see that as another way to atone for... The supposed sins of the daughter. You know, once the once catering was mentioned, it was a no-brainer to go. But yeah, we did get the full explanation on exactly what's going on here. Basically, people come there wearing the life fibers, and they get all absorbed into it and sacrificed, and everyone dies, basically. It's pretty horrible. We gotta do something about that. And Mako, just... I love how stubborn Mako can be, just... Squeezing Mak squeezing Ryuko literally as hard as she can. Just what more could you ask for in life? Everyone sitting in the audience with their with their their lunch. And uh yeah, the Mako's little brother was smart because he sold off that stupid uniform and just wore paint instead. <laughs> Which, you know, that may not have sounded like a brilliant idea, but by the end of the event, I think people will <laughs> will understand the importance of such an act. Of course, he didn't know the importance of the act when he did it, but it was important. And man, did I love Ragio's entrance. Of course, it's obviously very flashy and gaudy and stuff, but I liked it. I liked it. The music just really perfect, just completes it. It's great. Nui anyway, just kind of watching from the background as she usually does. And then we saw the life fibers kind of wrapping around people, very much like a spider would wrap its food in its web and then, you know, eat it. It's almost, it reminded me a lot of that here. And just that poor kid had been terrified to sit there, everyone around him wrapped up like that. I can't imagine how scary that would be, you know, for a child. And yeah, it was after they all got wrapped, wrapped up that Ryuko's group finally went in there, so they were a little bit late. But yeah, it really was a nice touch how things went silent after everybody got wrapped up because that makes sense. The people that would make noise are now unable to make noise. So just kind of the BGM there was such a brilliant move. And this I'm sure was the first time Ryuko met with Ragio. And yeah, the big surprise there was <laughs> out of nowhere, a sword just went right through her back. Sasuke just straight up betrayed her there. If she really was playing the long con here, that's pretty pretty brilliant. Like, she she played the role pretty effectively if she really was only pretending to be on her side the entire time. But she just stabs her, drives it in even further. We see blood splashing everywhere. She lifts her up using her full body weight and then sl slings her around and throws her forward up against the the wall, the, the whatever that thing is, and then more blood splattered. That was just, that looks so brutal. Like, it wasn't a quick stab, like, I'm sorry, for Mother, I did, I did not want to have to do this, but you left me choice, no choice. It wasn't like that, it was just 
like there seemed to be a lot of anger and hatred in these attacks and just it was great she declares a rebellion we could just stand in there extremely confused about what's going on because from her perspective the mother and daughter were basically the same person but clearly this proved to not be the case it's just she yeah Saki just looks so angry there and then she says yeah people do not live for the sake of clothing just completely contradicting Ragio's ideology there she wants to overthrow the life fibers and Panoji Academy is the fortress I created in order to defeat you. Which does make some degree of sense, you know? She was quite clearly coming across as trying to build her own thing. Just didn't know it was a direct opposition of Ragio, you know? So, yeah, pretty... Pretty... Pretty exciting development for sure. I'm not sure how well Ryuko will process what just happened here. But... Yeah, if Sasuke and Ryugo can be on the same side and fight together, that'd be great. But the question is, did Ryago, Ragyo actually die from that? Because I don't think we would kill out the final boss like just that quickly. We do have more than a few episodes left. So it probably won't be enough to kill her, I would assume. But yeah, she's definitely got to be a little bit upset about that. Anyway, yeah, Sasuke, that's, that's probably the coolest Sasuke's looked so far in the whole show. Just, I could watch her just do that to her mother several times. Like, that was uh, very satisfying to watch. Probably could have phrased that better. But anyway, yeah, great, great episode. I guess we'll see what happens from here. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.